Woo! What's going on, guys? It's Brandon L. Draper with the Start Thinking Forward Morning Show. Hey, guys, if you haven't heard about a free way to share your story or voice with a community of like-minded people, well, I got something for you. The No Excuse Way to Start Your Podcast. Let me explain. First and foremost, it is free 99. They got all types of creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. No special equipment needed, right? You can also make money from your podcast. There's not a minimum amount of people need to listen to it. It's everything plus more that you'll need to create your very own podcast in one place. So, what are you waiting on? Download your free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Start Thinking Forward Morning Podcast. Wake up, wake up, wake up out of your fart sack. Today, we got a very powerful message. If you don't know me by now, my name is Brandon L. Draper, your host for this fantastic morning motivational podcast. Hey, guys, today's subject we're going to be talking about, do you have the guts? Do you have what it takes. Let me tell you something. Today, I had two meetings that <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, really trying to make some, some major moves. And sometimes when you got a vision, everyone's not going to see your vision. Everyone's not going to be willing to play ball. And, and, and sometimes it goes back to that old saying, in order to play, you got to pay. And I know you guys out there, entrepreneurs, me being in the trenches, working a business from the ground up, developing it, that it gets difficult. And you got to have the guts to stay in the fight. It gets literally two minutes before I was getting ready to record this, I had just made my mind up that I was going to quit, that I'm tired of this, right? Right. Just two minutes ago, see, when you're working and, and, and cultivating your business, what you're going to understand is that there's going to be so many hurdles that are going to come your way. There's going to be days that you want to quit. There are going to be times you just want to just, just take a deep breath, meditate and focus. Everyone got something. Some, some people... They went their whole life and never truly did a damn thing that they wanted to do. They've always hid behind themselves, right? They always did what other people wanted them to do. They always acted the way other people thought they should act. Never once thinking about themselves, not having the guts to stand up and say, this is what I want and this is what I don't want. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Settler, right? It gets hard, but it's easy to settle for anything. My mom used to say this old saying. She said, you will fall for anything just like old people fall for soft shoes. Now, think about that for a second. You will fall for anything just like old people fall for soft shoes. And it means two things. First of all, when you get older, your feet got a tendency of getting a little tender. You like softer shoes. Also, when you wear soft shoes, you step on a rock, you fall. <laughs> you know, you can't be a sucker or get suckered into not being you. Even when things get difficult and hard, and you want to quit. I wanted to quit a million times. I don't want to do it because it hurts. And when you do something now. And you get the result of it now and it's not the result you want. It hurts now. See, when you put things off or you hide from yourself, you're putting it off for later because now you're saying, I don't want to feel the pain now, but I'm willing to feel it later. Maybe later may not come. I don't know, but I don't know what later is, but I know what now is. That's how the mind works. So you don't want to feel the pain now. But you're not willing to do anything now so that your future can be better because of fear or because people doubt you 
because people don't see it the way you see it. They only see it the way they seen it based upon how they were reared, how they were brought up, how they see things. And like I said in my book, that doesn't mean that they don't love you. That don't mean that they love you less. They want what's best for you based on their understanding. But if they don't understand you, how can they truly want the best for you when the best for you is what they manifested in their mind of you, not what you want of yourself? See, those things become contradictory. Because when somebody wants something for you that you don't want for yourself, that's like you wanting something more for somebody than they want for themselves. How can they ever rise to the occasion? Because you don't see yourself where they see you. And those that align with you need to understand you. See, understand, I understand that nothing is promised. I understand. Even though when I say I understand, I really don't understand. Because what we think we understand, we really don't. But I understand. You understand. There's a lot of understandings, but the understandings don't change how we feel about the situation. Think about that for a second. You can understand something. You have to accept certain things that you cannot change, but that does not change how you feel in that moment. So just two minutes ago, when I wanted to quit, That's what I wanted to do. But I know in my heart, I'm not a quitter. You know in your heart, you're not a quitter. But that doesn't stop the pain you feel when you feel like you failed. That don't stop that pain. That that doesn't stop. Right? You can read all the personal development books. You can listen to all the gurus out there. But I'm telling you from the trenches of what it truly means to be an entrepreneur. It hurts. When you're trying to be a startup, you're trying to do something that's never been done. Or you're trying to do something that no one in your family has ever done. You're trying to create not just a personal security blanket, but you're trying to create a personal legacy protection. Right? You're trying to make sure that your great, 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 great grandson or granddaughter feel what you did in the now right now in this moment right it's not about you know it's more than just just the security and and, and doing those things what about showing people what it is to go after a dream to believe in yourself what happened what happened what happened to that When you were in school, people always told you, you know, you can do anything. Just believe in yourself. Right? Were they lying? Because as we got older, I know as I got older, people stopped saying that. Be realistic, they say. Do what you got to do, they say. Pick yourself up, they say. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, they say. Do whatever you got to do. By any means, they say. Get it how you live, they say. Based on all those phrases I said, depending on how old you are or where you're at in your life, you understood what I just said. Huh? You just understood what I just said. I said the same thing just in multiple ways based upon how you perceive it. There's certain age groups that understand certain certain phrases that I said, and there's other younger people that understood exactly what I said, but that's the life in which we live. But what are we going to do with it in this moment? Do you have the guts? See, it's not just about having the guts to be in business. Do you have the guts to stand up in your own life? No matter if it's business or your personal life to say, hey, look, this is me. Either you're going to accept me for who I am or get to step in. Because I ain't got time for it because I'm already going through emotional stuff as it is, dealing with all the things I'm already dealing with. And now you're trying to add more to that. You about to be this and dismissed. That's what you got to do. You got to get these people out of your life expeditiously. Understand everyone won't see it your way. Everyone won't see your vision and they're not supposed to see your vision. That's not cliche-ish. That's real. Because guess what? If God gave you that vision, how in the world somebody else can see? 
That's like you handing your prescription over to somebody else and expecting them to be able to drive good. How they gonna see? How they gonna see the path when they're wearing your glasses? Think about that for a second. You taking your glasses off and what you see your future and what you see you're capable capable of. That only you know. You know you better than anybody else. But you're going to take those glasses off and hand it to someone else and expect them to regurgitate to you what you see for yourself and they can't see it because they don't even see you in that way. Somebody listening right now. Somebody just stood up out their bed. Somebody heard that. Do you have the guts to stand up to opposition and when it comes to you? You're going to have every single emotion possible going through this life. I faced so many when I thought I'd reach the point where I felt every human emotion there was, I found out I haven't even come close. I haven't even come close. But you're going to feel that when you're in business for yourself. You're going to feel that when you're trying to find who you really are. You're not just your name, first, last name. That's not you. That's your name. Who are you? If you ask that question to most people, they couldn't tell you. Know why? Because they don't know. But you know more about everyone else and everything else except for you. You know nothing about you. You know nothing about you. And I want to correct something uh, that I said before. Um, I made a, a, a quote. Um, about the Bible and I, I spoke I said John 4 and it was John 3 and I want to correct that on the air I want to say that um, so but you just gotta be able to have the guts and, and when I say have the guts meaning the intestinal fortitude the meaning that when things ain't lining up right when things don't look the way you would like for them to look don't mean that there's there's not it doesn't mean there's not victory on the other end it just means that you might have to go a different route. A different route don't mean no. It just means a different route. See, learn to read the signs for what they are and not make them out to be something that they're not. Trying another route means find another route. Dead end means dead end. Right? You know, no exit means no exit. Look at the signs. If it says you can't go this way, but we got a detour, you got to go this way. But you get mad in your feelings because you got to go through a detour to get to your objective. But the, the end game is to get to the objective. So if you still got a possibility or an option to get to your destination, why are you crying? Why are you mad? Why are you ready to quit? Why now? Why? Because so-and-so said something to you. Because so-and-so don't take you serious. So-and-so told you no. They ain't going to invest in your business. They ain't going to invest in your idea. So you mad you and your feelings. So you're going to let what they say control who you're going to be and what you're going to be in this world to yourself and everyone else that's looking for you. To, you you're willing to sacrifice that. Ask yourself, are you really willing to sacrifice that? So many do. But let me tell you something. In some of the near-death experiences that I had in combat, at no point in my life, I can honestly say that I've gotten more devout and religious in my life. So when I make that expression, because some people will hear that and say, what does he know about that? What do you know about that? When you've been close to death, to the point you've almost kissed lips with death, you happen to look at life just a little bit differently. And when we're faced with our mortality, we start thinking differently. You can go through your whole life chasing possessions, money, uh, acquiring this and that, and I got this going on and no one can tell me nothing. You can do all that. No one's going to knock that. You can do that all day. But I guarantee when you get in that last proverbial glass of water, you ain't thinking about what's in your bank account. You're not thinking about that race you won, that bet you won. You're not thinking about that. 
few things going to cross your mind during that time because it gets very solemn. It, it's going to be a few things. Did I love? Was I love? And did I matter? Did, did, did anything that I do really matter? Did I make a difference? Did I make an impression? Did I show those people around me that I cared about? Did I show them that I loved them? Did they truly love me? Did I make some type of difference? And the last thing you want to be is to that point in your life and you come to the realization that you, the true you, is dying. Never to be exhumed again. Because at that point, there's no possibility for your trueness of you to be able to come out because when you had that opportunity, you squandered it away. You let other people be that for you in which you was for yourself. I want someone... I'm dropping jewels. You should have, you should have a necklace right now. Huh? I'm not telling you something somebody told me, guys. I'm telling you what I've experienced. What I've been through. Do you have the guts? You gotta have the guts. You have to have the willingness to go out and fight even when it feels like it's futile. There's no reason for you to fight. You gotta still continue to fight to get every inch. No one ever said it was gonna be easy. If it was, everybody would do it. But when you get adversity, you got to take another route. It just means you got to take another route. It does not mean that it's over. The race isn't over until it's over, right? This is this is a marathon. It's a marathon. It's not a it's not a a, a, a sack race. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. Run your marathon. Pace yourself out. I understand everything's not going to happen overnight. Things take time to cultivate. Plant the seeds. Your job as a creator is to plant seeds. Water them. And hopefully you'll be able to harvest. But see, there's the thing about that. If you put the right seeds in the ground, unless something's wrong with that ground, something's going to come of it. But see, the world life is designed this way. It doesn't matter what you plant. You can plant them, uh, we call it, uh, we used to call them when we were little sticker brows. You can, you can plant those. Have fun. I remember getting those things stuck all in my socks when I was little. I used to hate them. Right? You can plant berries. You can plant poison. Whatever it is that you plant, you're going to harvest. What are you going to harvest 10 years from now? Are you thinking and changing your mindset now? Or are you putting it off for the next decade? Do you have the guts to stand up to the person you got to look up, look at every morning in the mirror? Do you have enough guts to say, I'm going to be me? I'm tired of people telling me who I am. Let me tell the world who I am. Because once you do that, People are attracted to the uniqueness of you. See, that's see, that's something different. Let me that that's on a whole nother connection when you realize that you are so authentic, people are attracted to your authenticity of yourself, your uniqueness of yourself, because you've given yourself totally out there and you have nothing. Nothing you don't you say, hey, this is what I am, this is what I am, this is what I, either you're gonna accept me or not. Someone heard me. Because somebody's out there trying to be something that they're not. They trying to be another person when they get on their job just to survive when are you going to truly get to be yourself and thrive hey guys thank you for tuning in to the start thinking forward morning podcast i hope this message was empowering and inspiring to you and if it was please do us a favor share this on social media facebook instagram twitter wherever share our message of hope and inspiration um, also if you want to support and help us be able to build this channel and continue to start actually doing videos um, because we're getting ready to roll in some some powerful guests in the next coming weeks you want to be a part of that and be able to support us bringing that together please go to patreon.com forward slash creators inner circle right again that's patreon.com forward slash creators inner circle 
and you'll be able to contribute to our movement and our plan. And we're doing so many powerful, positive things to, to uplift and just be real. You know, this, this is not a platform where I come up here and just script something out. I'm literally looking at a piece of paper and it says, do you have the guts? That's it. Right. This is something that was on my heart um, because I just I just had a bad day. And I know sometimes people, other people have a freaking bad day. It's just one of those days. And it's OK. It's OK. You got to push on. You got to move on. It's going to get better. Nothing. If, if it's pain, pain cannot sustain. It's like rain. Right. It can't sustain. It's going to pass. And let me tell you something. I've danced in the heaviest of rains. And I know if you're listening to this, you probably dance in the heaviest of rain. But know that your sunshine is coming. It's coming. Woo! Man, you got to get excited about that. Just like the pain is here. Oh, yeah. The, the pleasure and the good is coming. It has to. Everything has polar opposite. Whatever. It's going to come. If you believe and you want to put some work and effort in, it's not going to just come because you're thinking positive about it. Man, let me stop. Hey, I love you guys. And until next time, because you know I can talk all night about this, all day about this. So until next time, I will see you again.